I get that everybody doesn't like watching Reyna, but I I love watching this. I love it when somebody takes a Reyna <laughs> into their hands. It may not mean that it's going to be the most robust comp that you're seeing of teamwork, but man, it makes for some damn good gameplay, and That's I'm sure jing. we're going to get it right here. I want to see still some Jigmata, pretty much. Yeah, still poor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Never go backward, only forward. <laughs> Oh. Moving forward here on pistol round, we do have a little bit of mid control, and it's going to be LG trying to press forward at first. And that person that we highlighted at the beginning of this game is going to have to fall back and get a heal here from Moose, and that's Mata forcing back here, but also Pedox pushing forward. It's still an angle watched by Apoth, and they're still pushing forward. This is the W we're talking about, but the crossfire is set up between Calm and Apoth. That dash forces things to slow things down for a bit as Bustio is lurking on the other end of the map. That might force a rotation as the rest are working towards the A site, though, and King also falls towards the A site. That's A site open, but still a three versus three. Just this goon squad running back and forth right now. There was a bit of a rotation forward with all of that happening at B that you were calling. There was a bit of a positioning there by Tig on A. Pushed up, was giving it an idea that no one was there, but EG still had the audible call to go towards A. Now LG goes for the retake. Vans a little hide and seek from Jogimo. And he finds him. That's spotted to follow the one ED, baby. then onto Moose right after. B Dog's going to be on his own. As that new, playing as a jet into this Ooh, map, whoop. stopped by Com no and EG. It was a fight, and they get the pistol. Really nice job to kind of that play off the ball coming in here from Bustio absolutely throws them for a loop, right? Because EG still had the majority of their players ready to rotate to either side. LG as well with the death ball, they had their own counter strat going on. They moved towards B, they were able to thwart that threat, but it was actually all at A. So cool little mind games to start off there by EG. Let's see what LG can do to defend this round as they are on the eco. It looks like they're going pretty light on Util and just getting a few forward positions here, Vans, and it yeah. looks like EG's going to let him for now. They say, you're going to push into us? We'll just take it. <laughs> yeah, they tried to press forward at the beginning, and they couldn't get it. Right, right Ribs? So now they're trying this yeah. round here. Let's play a little bit more passively, but EG's doing the same thing. I think that's the other nice, cool thing about Evil Geniuses on that previous round and into this next round is that they're playing very cautiously. They're expecting LG's aggression. Yeah. And does EG feel like they have to kind of set a pace here, right? You're up against the undefeated LG. It doesn't mean a lot in the whole grand picture here. You still got a few games to go, but are you trying to send a message? Are they going to take LG off guard right off the bat? And here with one round, they're making sure they can solidify these next few. Giving a bit of respect to LG, but also taking the space when they want with that util, and they do get a bit of... Uh, Answer from Tig, they'll know that Viper is on site, and the plant should come in pretty cleanly, except for that bite. Reform still finds that he cannot do much with just a sliver of health. Still a very good fight, though, to negate the majority of that, that snake awesome. fight on that ground. Cloud burst, and there's a gap in the wall, though, since so thankfully, Dragon was pushing forward to support his teammate and also drop Tig. Spike is now planted, another enemy spotted on the top of that B site, but everybody from LG is pretty much rotated across. Another big battle, this time towards midside. B Dog headshot onto Apoc, and that is the flank watcher down, and no post plant mollies here for that Viper. Yeah. The rest are pushing forward. Busio just lands these shots with the Marshal <laughs> and goes for a quick scope onto B Dog, what? and that is now two unanswered rounds. Only one dying here, Riv. That's actually a great way to work the economy for evil geniuses. That's a great point, especially if they want to fold these rounds over with being able to play that kind of touch-and-go game we saw in round one, where they, they saw a lot of LG, were able to call an audible. The more util, the more money you have, the easier those types of strats are. Now we get to our first gun round. Let's focus a little bit back on LG's side here. Again, what is their defense? Because EG seems to have it set. Play off the util, play pretty smart for now. We do know they brought out some varying strats in their previous matchup when we saw them going up against the uh, uh, teams here in the groups. And we'll see if they decide to do that. Now is their first full A strat. Let's see if it pays off. That's it. The strat here is you have to play aggro to take map control, and that's B Dog trying to do it with two other players. It works out for this first blood onto Jockimo, but the oh flank's still coming. Word. A lurk here from the mid side. Watching wow. also under two, trying to see if Tig is going to overextend his rotation. But Tig plays it smart, falls back into sight because that's where also EG is rotating back from A to B. <laughs> the attempt. You have to love it. Of course, Mata's going to be doing that. Not much utility to. Fully retake a site, right? There's a lot of peaking that's going to have to happen here. B-Dog and Tig with some trades. 
Bustio gets one. B Dog on a few more vans. This is just going to be B Dog's round, and he's going to look for more here. And this allows Modder to also push forward. Elisa Spike is planning for EG. They do have yeah. two shock darts available for Kong, and he's been a stellar player for this team against Sentinels yeah. last week. We are taking that B side control, and now he has a B side plan. The Leer coming out from Mata, the wall, counter wall coming out as well. So that could actually block a lot of these lineups. A nice little recon dart too, shark dart for the kill. Another one on the ground, switches back to Bulldog for the kill, and Beatle has this? to look for the ace. Push it down towards Yellow, but it's stopped by Reform, and it's gonna be the bonus round coming in for EG. Not even gun to. <laughs> oh my god! It almost happened, man. It almost happened. A mountain of moose. I'm sorry, a mountain of reformed. I apologize, different sage. Oh my word, EG coming up huge. B Dog doing everything he could <laughs> in that round. Yep. That was absolutely ridiculous, as, as well with the switch up of the early part of the round. And, and as I said, there wasn't much for LG to really retake on. B Dog then comes you through with a bunch play. of kills. Let's play. Hey, hey Vans, you, you said they were getting away with a lot of people alive last time. If LG can get a few more of those rounds in. It'll make it tougher for EG, but right now EG just seems solid in these rounds. Attempt there because of all these kills that you had from B Dog. Had a Blade Storm available, but B Rush. Eyes onto Boost and indeed we do have this rush towards this B side. And it continues his story. The Owl drone from Calm always picking one and actually spotted Mana just around the corner too. But behind that Viper as well is also B Dog. Are they still gonna try to go for this? They're just holding it back now for EG again. Being very meticulous, showing respect for EG, but also standing their ground, doing a good job here, re-pushing forward, and now catching LG in, in his individual positions right after, and this is going to be looking like an easy plan. Yeah, quickly, one after the other. EG making sure that gun diff plays into their favor. LG had the right, right call, too. They were poised at the site, prepared to take these shots on the hard angles. And again, the utility usage of EG trying to play it safe as I say that, Vans. You see a few frags coming out of Dazzle as he goes down. Yeah. Works for a bit. Should still be able to save the Operator into uh, the next round here. But uh, yeah, the round's going to come EG. in for EG. That's four unanswered rounds. And sorry, it was actually uh, an alt that came out from Bustio. Mm -hmm. and, and now this is going to be looking pretty good. Uh, the economy is still looking great for the attacker side. LG builds it back. Now we have the operator coming out from B-Dog, though. And he's been on point for the first few rounds. I wouldn't necessarily say carrying LG so far, but he's definitely warmed up early in this game. You know, may, you know, we'll have to see LG come online somewhat here. You know, Reyna being better on the attack, being able to kind of produce your own situations. You don't just get to run into the attacker side, <laughs> into their waiting arms. So, Mata not yet really able to create too much of an opportunity with this Reign of Pick just yet. Here they have double duelist on that B site. Maybe it can fire back. Yeah, and they're just playing pulse time right now. So, Joggy Mode, Reform. Yeah, they're getting these kills and a rotate from LG, but the battle comes back from the bottom. And it's Snake Bite Shockies. They still have a Sage available, though, for <laughs> LG. They could try to wall it back and try to Here block a little bit of this utility, snake. but you see it. That Snake Bite's on the ground. The second one's already coming in. The shock dart should be coming soon, and I love this from EG. Wow. It's so meticulous. After the two snake bites, Apox pushing forward. If he dies, it doesn't matter. The shocks will come out right after. And now we're just running that clock down into two versus one. We have one that's going to try to stick on this, and I like this. Who's watching it? Wallbang no! actually gets the kill onto Dazzle, and with that, is going to win the round for EG. Clutch. Literal hero plays from everyone everybody has a job to do at the end of the round and usually getting away for a post plant like that we saw the meta it gets dangerous it was found out to be easily countered the channels they use there allowed an underneath allowed the kitchen return allows the spray from up top oh right God. behind the shoulder of moose and he was unaware then he gets his fork absolutely incredible play by evil geniuses they are setting the pace this game. Oh, we yeah. asked if it would be happening, and oh my word, what a stellar round. Red Bull clutch there for Common. You got to give it to him, man. He came from a crew, and now he's basically <laughs> found a new home in EG, and I think he's been reading the game so well from the Sentinels game into this one now. 
is definitely uh, saving some rounds here for EG, although they don't really need it yet. It's 5-0, to zero, back to an eco for LG, but you can see it's a half buy. They still have uh, that phantom that they saved that previous round. A couple of swings coming in from the A site, a double flank coming in from A main as well, and that is going to be watched by APOC. Meanwhile, we do have the spike plant going in for the attacker side. A res on the other side of the A site. A trade coming in forward, and that's B Dog finding it back against Calm. Traded back by Apoth once again, though, as Dazzle, Take, and Moose are trying to bring it back in their favor. The wall comes up from the pulse plant, or uh, coming in from the defender side, as we're trying to get the defuse in. And we actually oh get the sprays coming in for Reform on the Take. And with only two more to go, that clock is ticking down. And One this is just remaining. great coverage from EG overall. Absolute chaos all around. And EG just seems to know exactly what to do in it. The round seemed to go on for quite some time. But how quick was the spike planted there, Vansili? How, like, how fast Pretty did they quick. activate, scale the site, get in, and get out? And LG's like, what? Huh? And then the round began for both sides. So 6-0, LG's... I'd say forced into a timeout here. It, look at these rounds. Spike, or er, kills, 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 spike, uh, explosion, kills. Like, Just a lot of pulse plants though, right? Because all, all these eliminations yeah. are also off pulse plants coming in right. from EG though. Right, and it's like, like we kind of heard Valen just say it. If you're coming in, you're hitting headshots today. You're going to be winning Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> LG, they've tried different things, though. I, I have to give it to them, right? The pistol round pushing in towards that mid sign. Then they tried yeah. to go for their triple push on the A sign, which is like very old school Valorant. And they had box. the eco set up on B. Exactly. The right reads, too, and it's just EG sure. that's overpowering them. But I think what's been one of the key components, even though you don't see it on the at, uh, on that assist board, is just that utility usage from Calm as well, from the Owl drone to get all this information as they're defaulting Absolutely. very slowly. And they're like, okay, where are they actually stacking out? Because, you know, we talked about it. LG, they're not playing a Sentinel that is able to find information. No Killjoy, no Chamber, so they have to press forward. And when you find that jet and you find that ray now, you can go in the opposite direction and just get these plants in. All right. So with LG's timeout, let's take a focus on them this round. Obviously, it looks like EG wants to go a bit faster. We'll see a drone come out. Viper's pit on the right side as we see Sonar both in mid. That's all from LG to start the round. Give space already to Moose here to move up and at least get some more audio reads if if that's it. On the side here, oh, of EG, but Jogamo comes up with two immediately and that's the duelists again. Down for LG. That is mispositioning coming out from Mata. That recon dart, that was his responsibility to break it, which is why he was looking up, but he got pink, and that allows that double swing to come out, and this is just going to be writing all across the wall that you have to save for the last three players of LG. Just not not really able to trade right now, even on the dry peaks. EG seems so strong, and it does not seem like this Reina pick is allowing LG to take space safely. They're getting there to take the space, but being able to return fire trade off each other doesn't seem to be combining right now with the setup they're trying to create. We have seen the movement of Mata and B-Dog round through round, right? They kind of move hip and hip so far, and we'll keep an eye on that as we're keeping an eye on EG now. Pressure from site to site here as they yeah. smell blood in the water. They don't want LG to save weapons. They Shot got the contact on the Viper. They hurt the recon guard. Yeah. Now it's just trying to get those last kills. EG playing it Almost. so well in this first half. This timeout didn't really work out. Look at this. Oh, you know, the, the op was positioned to look out towards this long B side of Garage. But that 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 Viper wall, the toxic screen that came out from yeah. Apoth was huge to allow the... Uh, the two players of EG to get that, that, that coverage sure. on B-side main. That's a dry peak. Actually, as you saw, Mata looking up at a Let's dart, fly. not a dry peak. <laughs> really well played there by the side of EG to actually combine some utility there. Just slipping everything in that got past me. Oh, double peak there. I like that. A little double look. And it looks like from LG's side, they'll set up default again. The duelist on the left. And looking at EG, that trademark's mid. It doesn't seem like unless they really find too much of a brick wall that they hit, they just keep going forward, Van Silly. They only think it's one player here because of that recon dart was shot by b Dog, but Mata's there with the Empress. Trades it back on the Jogimo and is going to dismiss away. So that was hey, huge for those trades, but with that, we talked about it. They spotted both duelists. It's time to book it towards the A-side for EG. Absolutely. They hit the hit bit of that brick wall. They couldn't chip all of it down, so now they get a rotation in, and they have LG a bit jumbled. So they're going to get the site, 
They've played through this round before. It's just a bit more extended. Now they set up for what we saw, and this was what LG was waiting for. Be able to prep them off. Almost grabs another two tag. It looks like they'll be able to get the spike down here with the heel, and we reset this situation. Viper's pit on the ground as well. They also have a trademark watching the flank, so this is going to give a cue that Tig's going to be on a rotate. So he breaks it and goes to meet back with the rest of his team. So that's actually yeah. pretty huge. That's going to be more bodies on a retake on the A side as Mata gets the headshot onto Bustio. We're going to get recon inside the pit. The Leer coming in as well. Tig getting the right shot there. onto Reform, and the retake's working out. Dazzle's only at 1 HP because he's inside this pit, and Calm's going to have to be on his own, but this should be it. Actually, he pulls out the Hunter's Fury. It's out at halfway. He whoa, actually gets whoa. the kill onto Moose, then killed by Mata. Oh, Okay, that is going to be it. It was close, <laughs> but, you know, it, it, the, the wall was still there here, Riv. I feel that it was going to be imposs an impossible task for EG to win that round, but at yeah, least yeah, he yeah. does the econ damage. I just thought everybody had pushed towards. I forgot Tig was so far on the backside of the site <laughs> that he didn't have to go all the way around 410. I was like, wait a minute. They're going to get themselves into a sticky situation here. But this, uh, as I was saying before, we looked at what the duelist composition of Mata and B-Dog were trying to do. And here, Mata got to kind of turn that into an attack situation, right? He becomes Reyna. He gets to pressure the site. He gets to kind of fight back instead of being pressured on and just push back with really no defensive utility. So they, they turn the tables on that one a bit. Seven to one, though, as Giacomo just starts this one off real fast with a quick updraft. That's the A site down. And now it's also the toxic screen on defense down as well. B-Dog almost did a mistake. Almost dashed forward into his opponents. Thankfully for EG to decide to fall back, and you can see this default. It's still a very, very slow pace. Looking for EG to move forward, and there you go. Another Allen drone that's going to spot one and force one back, and that's the operator from B Dog. So they have full control of map pretty much uh, to take over for EG, but they're still hesitating on, on where to take it for now. And it looked like they started off with the first round strap there uh, on the side of LG. They pushed a few forward and start to say that. EG starts a bit of their own strap for a day with that Rez, oh, knowing no. the push could be saved. A little warranty on that. Because of that off shot miss, though, Bustio is able to move forward, and that allows now EG to rotate back as they could overpower B Dog. Here. Meanwhile, though, we also have Moose yeah. working out towards his mid side, so B Dog has to reposition. He's actually taking an aggressive angle. This could actually be a big surprise against EG. Misses a second shot, though, unfortunately. And he doesn't have a dash to work with. And only one more bullet in the chamber does not connect as Joggenwolf takes the upper hand. Musa Lee, though, as we mentioned on a mid-side rotate, does get that frag, but the plant comes in for EG. And Jogimo now takes the op in his hands. Just the reads right now, feeling out the map, the way that the side of EG is using their utility from site to site. I mean, we started off this round with Jogamo doing an updraft on Belt and getting a quick frag on Tig. That means that you don't have much of a retake wall if they do go A. You can see that was already placed down by Tig, or it wouldn't be B, gone, as LG gets themselves back into what they felt was a good defense. And this is also very interesting too, Riv, when you're looking at this game when you know, we talked about kitchen control could be out in the open. It's never taken control by EG. You just yeah. don't mind working these extremities against this this uh, this setup from the, from LG, rather. That's a great call. I, there's no trademark or alarm bot, as we've seen, to go in kitchen. So that could be a free spot. And Moose has been waiting for someone to come through there a few rounds, has been able to push up it. But you're right, EG just has said no, no kitchen. Too many cooks. We don't want to be there. Here's another round where they're instantly in. 20 yep. seconds into the round, going for the plant. The wall is set in such a way that if you try to spam it, really, you're going to you miss or you're blind spamming through the gas or you're going to get pegged by somebody up on belt. So really awesome util. Usually where I commend, like, uh, attacker sides that they play double controller to set up the, how they take the A site. For example, like the guard, when he throw this... this um, Poison Orb on the top of Raptors, and then have the Omen smoke on the left side. Apod does that on his own with this Viper utility, blocking both left and right side. But the plant hasn't come down yet. We talked about stopped. how fast EG got into this site, but the rotation already came the in, and that's on. off how um, Tig was playing towards this A side to slow things down. But here comes the battle towards that front side. Hey, Finally, they are trying to press back forward, and Tig and Dazzle, they're making it work at least. Two-player advantage now for LG, but this Lurk on mid side, it's weighted by Dazzle. But Calm makes it up inside Kitchen instead. Calm flanks. You got to remember last week. Right. He <laughs> literally had some of the biggest flanks we've seen in the group stage. 3K is coming from it. Completely changing rounds here. Again, they will call an audible. 
They hit a really tough brick wall over at A, but somehow we're able to sneak everything out. All the hide from Apoth fans. The awareness of all these players are so good from just Dazzle thinking somebody's on a rotate. Apoth thinking that, okay, mid was open, I have to keep my guard oh. up. And Calm also does that lurk play and cuts the rotation for two more kills, three into the round. And that was such a clean mid round to end round by Evil Geniuses. LG is seeing stars, right? They are getting run They're getting around. KO'd. Yep. KO'd at this point. <laughs> in these rounds and, and they try to rotate back over and what you thought was a, a, an EG team spread thin and literally everywhere, everywhere they needed an eye, it was firing, it was taking out a member of LG and LG are back down to an eco buy here or a low buy. They're gonna see what they can do almost to some alt points, but EG has the same at 9-1 right now and commanding these sites every time they go. Here, the push again is well, kind of a, a rerun of the strat, but now Change. Moose is here. Mata's moving forward with the Frenzy because he wanted to use the attacker's wall to his favor. Gosh. So he gets two really nice Frenzy kills. He builds up the Empress, and this might turn it around. He might have a great opportunity to use this because his spike is also down. Oh. Oh. Spike down it shows you the that flip of the positioning. Standing. Just a few seconds earlier, EG had been ready for this every round prior, right? But... Mata does get into that position, and he can put that Reyna to work. Let's see how they clean this one up. Looks like it could be a Prime Gaming Flawless here to get him to a 9-3 on this first half, and this would be from the Thrifty round. Uh, they start this one. I believe Thrifty. They did spend a little bit of money, so at least to save. No, oh, it's a Thrifty. <laughs> And definitely a prime gaming flawless, but Absolutely. look at that, man. They, the they didn't even get any damage coming in from uh, any armor damage uh, from LG. Coming in from EG to LG, so that was really nicely done by Mata's off positioning. And getting that second kill, or even the third kill, how aggressive he moved forward and did not care. Uh, uh, that was really nice. But is it too little too late? Maybe for the half, but they do have a great composition for LG to, to turn it around on their attackers. Yeah. Side. Everyone, eh? For EG yeah, here, let's see how the push from LG play. happens. Trademark is mid. It looks like LG's okay with more of a retake. It seems like that's been the name of the game more so on this side, because as we said, that's how your duelist would really like to come in, not just being a solo defender. And there is EG again, scaling the site very quick. Very good delay by Take once again with the Viper utility, pulling into yeah. back site now. LG's already Who rotated. Run? But again, the respect of going back and forth so consistently for EG. He still had Mata inside that B site. Punish Fury out now for, oh my god. Oh my. Calm, and that was a nice play by Reform. Forces a res early coming in. Now a lineup for so many players as that wall comes down for the attacker side, and Apoth dies, but at least Boosty was there to trade it back. Jogimo, forward position. Now they wait, and they know about these rotations, but Jogimo is still fighting inside the site with Boostio, and that's both players knocking down LG as EG takes the lead. Still fighting inside the site with Boostio, and that's both players knocking down LG as EG takes the lead in the first half, 10 to 2. And let's go on that break because I don't want this action to slow down. A matchup between LG and EG where it's supposed to be pretty even head to head as LG are looking yeah. to punch a ticket into the playoffs of the group stages here. But EG has something different to say here, Riv. They can't have the EG have mastermind something else coming in here with their evil genius uh this time and it looks solid so far now they're on defense we're wondering what this lg comp can bring on attack now vans yeah what in, can this reyna b dog duelist combination that have been running together here in the kill squad do now it's they get into a with real frenzy quick. and that's that kill onto a pot to dismiss to also get the couple of shields coming in as the attackers are still pushing forward for LG, B Dog with a nice headshot, but Tom answers back. And that's still more rotates coming in. Everybody from EG is already ready for this, but they still suffer a disadvantage of one player. We're trying to land these shots for Dogima with success, but Tig is now pushing forward. A two versus two, as now a ghost has picked up a reformed as well. They have a wall for the defuse for EG. As we're looking for that information, it doesn't work out. One wall coming oh, out. Wall. This is going to be a defuse coming in. And EG, they get both pistols in this map. Oh, they squeak it by, Vans. 
LG so confident on the pressure forward, making the right moves. And EG just slowly inched themselves back into the site, and that wall was the nail in the coffin. <laughs> Nobody's clearing that on a pistol. Had to yeah. break the distance, and it was long enough for the defuse. Like you said, evil geniuses seem to have an answer for everything here in map one. But it's not over yet. Close to it, but not yeah. yet. Still a series to play. And I think if you're looking at the history of LG anyways at this stage, Riv, I mean, they, yeah, they're 2-2. Yeah, two yeah. two. They had to win in overtime against FaZe. They had to, to win against BBG Academy 13 to 11 and then lost uh, the, the first two games on this map this stage. So this should be EG technically well as they continue to work this B site on defense. Shock on the ground. But we're just going to get this plant down because we do have a wall plant from Moose. Good focus. Like you said, getting that economy. 300 across the board. What else can they produce here? Dropping maybe some of these weapons, making the full buy happen for EG. Every last drop they could possibly get out, fans. Oh, dog. But the snake bites on that ground, the double swing coming out. There it is. Yep. That was that was continuing to be so clean for EG. The trades are so good as well, man. It, it's just everything's been looking really good. Again, it's it's their map pick, so maybe that's a, a reason why we see an, an EG that's so good on this map. Yeah. Maybe. Cold yeah, is nice. Teams, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brought Cloud9 to the OT on this game as well, on this map, rather. Not, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. 12-2 uh, to two here uh, for a game point. And it's it's been off fundamentals. You know, Jog is getting in there. Bustio has had some good flanks as well as Calm. But it's it's Calm droning out the push forward from Jogamo getting that jet in there to make the play and then the team swarming as well. Apoth has been mid almost the entire time when they were playing attack. Now we switch it up and EG has been able, like you said, hold from pistol. And we see another aggressive A strat from LG. No real defensive util behind it. They can set, but B Dog starts it off with a Guardian Vansili. One tap there and now we're crossing the line, but uh, that's far enough, says EG. At least Moose has something else to say though. This yeah. reform is going to be on his own against Dazzle and Moose. A res, forcing a res on top of that. I mean, it is map point here for EG, so it makes sense. And Moose is just going to secure the deal into that round. They keep it alive for now. A bit messy towards the end. Obviously, it got scattered. I think it was kind of uh, EG thought they were able to wipe that out. And LG had a, a little more bite coming in. They swarmed the site. I think everybody was just on top of each other enough to make that happen. And here, we'll see if they split it up. They spread it out, because that was all towards A. We just saw that a death ball from LG, almost like kind of a, a last break chance to break a wall open to see some light at the end of a tunnel. Here, it looks like a B strat for them, and they will also leave one mid. That's going to be Tig to make sure they can get those stragglers. Push mid here from Boostio as we see EG already putting pressure on. I don't think EG should ever stop putting pressure on with the, the score they have right now. Oh, and they're even spraying the classic through the wall, and it actually tagged Tig for a bit. So that's an alarm, and Apoth gets the headshot. Yeah. Now they also have a blade storm for EG to go for this retake Spike off this planted. plant. He's frag left and right. Oh, Jog coming up. Oh, he's going to fly right in here with the team behind him as they all come up here. Come on. Empress out from Mata, holding it very close here towards this spike right behind the wall. Slow orb to allow Jogimo to try to get a kill. Nice little jump. Sees that second one, but doesn't know that one's right under. The tap forces one out. They go for the double swing, but it's still Dazzle that shuts him down. And Moose also, once again, saves it here for LG as they live to fight another round. Dazzle! The squeaky bum. <laughs> he just holds tight there. Did not move. Didn't even look up. Didn't fire. Didn't draw attention. Just receiving the comms, was able to come up with a huge double kill there. And LG continue to do a bit of damage here to evil geniuses with their backs against the wall. Ultimates for Dazzle, B-Dog, Tigger close. And uh, EG can start Anselm back with a few of the same. Vans, this is great. Let's take a look now. LG side, let's keep a focus on them as we go into these rounds. We'll see a rendezvous is set up for EG to play a retake on B for the first shot from Bustio. But LG again focusing A. Spike is down, so it looks like they're kind of waiting to see if EG will get antsy again and, and push the round with that uh, lead they already have. Saw there from LG with the spike being down so early into the round. It's just a default for them to try to force the utility out, and that they did. They forced out the Viper's Pit from Apoph after tagging. 
Jogimo with the Owl Drone from Dazzle. Yeah. They'd be able to get any... They kind of wait it. Like, okay, Pit's down. We don't really want to go forward too much. Commitment of walls, both towards A. Everything's been slowed down here. And we haven't really seen how LG reacts too much to this slow round. EG is waiting for the space to be taken. They have a recon have a trademark. Work with. Trademark all the way around for mid, so if anybody tries Talks to actually encroach down. there, they'll be able to know from screens. They're going to want this. Yeah. See if they they get EG to become antsy before LG really makes a wrong move. They just want to get that timing to get that recon dart in there with the Hunter's Fury on top of that. But Apoc, that was the gun sticking in. Shorty kill, close range. And now the Hunter's Fury does not connect onto anything, yeah. but at least for LG, they're taking over the site. And now this Viper's Pit is down after Apoth got picked off. And it's Planet here on the top of the A tower side. Calm with a recon to retaliate. It's actually not going to ping, ping anybody yet. The Leer coming out. The second one as well. But it's still boost you and Calm. They're retaking slowly to the site. Reformed is on the other end. There's only one more to go. A one versus one. It's going to be B-Dog dashing away with a kill onto Bustio. And LG will fight another. They're act they are activating. B-Dog and Mada are doing everything they can right now. Obviously, the rest of LG, but the Duelist are doing their job. We, we did not see this from the defensive side. What a clutch there from B-Dog. Because the EG pressure was... Always there. Slow the game down, and Mata and B Dog can act as those duelists, can break space and start taking corners. Red Bull clutch, the pings coming on the attacker side, indicating that it's potentially a bit to be split. Even with Take playing it passively at this angle, might even want to play the pulse plants now on mid side, but who's going to have something else to say? But that cannon of that duel no, of false is way too long. Mata sees an easy kill, a dash inside the B side as Kong couldn't stop him. Doggy though, is the third line of defense, finally, as it topples down. And Reform is going to try to go for that flank, but on this eco here for EG, they could do a little bit more damage, it'd be nice. But LG are just ready for it. Reform now gets picked off by Tig, Apoth on his own. Such a tough situation to play from for LG on all of these rounds. And yet, they obviously, for this, uh, the eco, they feel confident, but... It, Every movement here can't be a mistake. And they've done this so many rounds in a row now. Everybody's really showing up to the table, too, on these rounds. Obviously, we talked about Mata and B-Dog. Dazzle's had a few great frags coming out. And it seems like EG can't put their we're aggressive get behind me on this take kind of strategy into play here against LG. The rounds are slowing down, and LG's controlling the game with B-Dog and Mata a bit more. Yeah. Even LG looking at these rounds where you'd think that, okay, there's a Viper's Pit now for Apoth inside the A site. They have the numbers advantage. They have yeah. the right crossfires, but it's still LG taking the upper hand of that. And I think that's what you're talking about, Riv, how these guys are now activating and feeling the game right now. I mean, Moose is also dropping 20 into this on game the loose. when they only have six rounds. <laughs> it's pretty crazy Absolutely how much he's trying to save loose. it for the team, right? We, we talked about hero plays from a lot of these players on the attacker side to keep the dream alive for LG on this first map. Yeah, we've definitely heard the reses coming from him <laughs> more than not. Uh, already had a battle round from Reformed. Moose saying, no, I'm a mountain. I'm coming into play. Like you said, <laughs> 20, you're 20, 12, and 3. They're a boulder, right? It, it, yeah. See what they can produce for this round. Focusing on LG once again. A little towards A. Remember, they have no flank strategy control except for TIG. Tig is their trademark. He sits back after throwing the wall and usually watches and for the flanks here. See if they all stick together on this one. A yeah. bit of a switch with EG putting Bustio over towards A now, so they're considering that LG wants A again. I definitely do feel that this round is probably not going to be one of those rounds where Tig has to watch that flank because they have a Viper's Pit to work with. So which is why it's That's changed true. a little bit here. It's B-Dog playing on one extremity, as you can see right now on the A side. The rest of them are trying to go for this wall plant Viper's Pit, and somehow the Aldrone does not break. I don't think it spotted more information in a tag onto Dazzle, but yeah. they already have the positioning here for EG. Rendezvous uh, picked up and replaced. Bustio did not see anything to start at A, so now he wants the game at B. Let's see if LG is going to be able to get through this one. A great wall will get them safely in. Dazzle 
13 oh, seconds like for that. a dart, and I think that's our patience right here. Yeah, wall's already up to say right, you yeah. have to loop around the wall, so you're either going to buy time to you're pressured into a knobby strategy, or you're going to break it and try to come in just full bore. And they're waiting for that recon dart to come out for Dazzle. So as it counts down and it's prepped up, you see this Viper's pit coming out. Oh my They're gosh. actually walking forward into this, trying to play a surprise attack. They don't have. They actually do have flashes from that Leer. And they're actually going to push towards spawn as well. And it's going to be How a nice clever. one there to allow LG to open up the B site. 24 seconds left into the round as b Dog's on top of pipes. We have a res coming out from Moose and the rotation's watched by b Dog, But we still have a battle on the other side from Reform. They're trying to pinch him against him. Apoth wins that fight. The plant is coming down at least here inside deep the B site as Reform also has a res to come. He's pushing forward, trying to get this out here onto Calm, but we also have players, Mata, pushed out all the way towards Defender Spawn, where he could actually even watch it. Now they're looking towards the backside, and Apop gets caught, and that is not going to work out for the res at all. And LG, man, that re-hit was so nice. What a cool round from LG, creating multiple walls of safety in front of them. The final one being the Sage Wall after the Viper Wall was fully fresh, fully ready to go. They waited out EG's little strat there. And again, the round slows down. LG picks it apart. What an awesome scaling of B site there. What, there's a really cool take by LG. <laughs> Very ballsy, too, in a yeah, sense. That super if that... ballsy. It's like th that's the second time they've looked EG Strat straight in the face and went into it, fans. Yep, Last one was true. a Viper Pit at A. Again, focusing on LG. A bit of a push from EG to start, we have to say. But we'll focus to see LG going A here for another Strat. There they are. We forced out a TP from a Headhunter. The paint pulls out the Sage 2. Yeah. Here's the Empress coming out on the attacker side, and Apoz going to try to play inside his smoke. Trying to go for the backstab here. Uh -huh. Here's a couple of shots. Joggimo is going to work, though, and that allows his backstab to happen. The headshot there on to take. Oh, the slurb on the ground, allowing Joggimo to get the kill on to B-Dog. And Moose, though, trying to keep it on the attacker side rush here of the A site. Fighting along his wall, the double swing coming out here, and it works out for EG. And is this going to be off that? And indeed it will. Off a short of buy for EG. They get the round and change from EG. How could it happen? Well, we look at actually what the desk was just saying. We know we go off of that is that Potter was ready to make sure they could shut down B-Dog. And if you yeah. look at a lot of the maps, LG, uh, usually that's where B-Dog can play very well and put the team on his back if even need be in a situation and they're not able to pick it up. So we'll see if that happens again as LG goes straight through. Dazzle and Mata say, nope, we'll put a little bit on our back to start, though. And that was a fast A still being worked up short here by LG. Joggy did not expect Mata to be inside Holy that smoke because they were trying to go for a trap play with the flash and haunt. But now we still have LG moving into the site with yet the spike to be planted because they have no idea where L uh, EG are at. Even we have a trailblazer coming out from showers and now Calm is coming on this flank. Has a prowler to work with. Still has the haunt that's about to come back out. Reform is about to have his two flashes. So we'll see what the retake is going to look like here. Slash Low movement. Out. Yeah. Are they going in? Here it goes. Boost winning in the corner with the right clicks, but Busio trades it out. The crawler, as we mentioned one before. And Busio lands another one. Last and calm long range, down. leaving it on a one versus one, though, as Dazzle's trying to save the round for LG. A dink coming in, and Dazzle's looking in a great spot. Run that clock down, forcing Calm to run into the site. No HP! Headshot onto Dazzle! Mm. And he's coming in for the defuse. And it will happen. EG. We'll get the pistol. <laughs> a back and forth. Honestly, EUG had quite a bit of time to rotate over, and LG didn't take too much of the site. After all, didn't really mean too much since the fights all happened on this side with EG kind of coming in from comms flank. How many times have we said that in the past few weeks, fans? <laughs> this guy, his flanks, his timing, his communication, his dancing, Really, just you see uh, <laughs> everything. Able, everything. A, everything. It's a package, package deal with this guy. So honestly, what a nice start by EG. They get another pistol round in this series. Yeah, and you see now the double initiator, Prowler coming out towards showers. You have a guided light coming out towards Long B. So the extremities are now covered. You have an inkling now that the push is coming in towards short A. And you have the repositioning from Apoth as well, playing this U-Haul. Crossfire set up with Jogimo. And we just saw a seeker, or I'm sorry, a guiding light as well thrown into Hookah. Coming from, da or, uh, wow, my brain's getting switched. Coming from Reformed, 
and we know that EG has a bit of an idea what LG is doing. But also, LG still have anything on the plate to be able to perform here. Looks like we're going to get some blast packs out onto the site to disrupt and maybe a follow out after the fact. Oh. Could be a trailblazer first. And that's a big flash. And the satchel, we'll see if it actually breaks that trademark. If not, these guys will get stuck running out. The flash out, it even starts with a trailblazer that now pops out that slow field. A hot to come out to, a beautiful crossfire, but it's still LG trying to fight back. A four versus four, Dogmo from the flank, and now spotted one inside the elbow. One more to go, and they mow it down for EG, taking that second round. A little hide box. You can see Ping's coming out. Where was that? Where was he? <laughs> we saw that spot being played by Aaron on Exit just the other day, yeah. being able to clean up quite a few just outside Hookah. They just smattered everyone up to that spot. And like you said, Util coming out, EG able to just break it all with the trademark. And LG had the right idea. Last packs come out. They, you know, they were trying to break everything. It just one did not work is on enough. that one. We flip this now into our gun round. Bonus for EG, a focus on the side of LG. His trademark is placed in their default spot. They've done this for the last few rounds. We'll keep an eye on the gameplay here as it looks like showers is a bit of a priority, at least for this early space. Yeah, showers are priority for LG. Fought back initially just a bit for, uh, from Com. Decides to fall back towards triple. Meanwhile, though, they could focus on not looking after Hookah because they have a trademark in there. So holding the right positions for EG as LG are now looking to inch back towards this Hookah side. Really just tempting the site, if you will. Gas up, gas down. Prowler came out there from EG, so you're getting a bit of util. Now Seekers, uh, I keep saying Seekers, Guiding Light has been used in Hookah and now towards Long B and for the side of somebody. Evil Geniuses. Yeah, and they got that bit of a tag. And this push up from Bustio is going to allow EG know they can rotate, and here comes Reformed all the way across, but LG looks like they're going to come rip out the gate right now. Com just got owned here by a trailblazer, but at least Dogmo and Apop has that crossfire towards U-Haul. Com at least is able to drop one before he dies from B-Dog. The advantage coming in for EG is, remember, this is their bonus round, but they still have no information. Boostio is even going left. back towards his B-side, thinking that a TP might be coming out here from the last two players of LG. But these LG players are just holding U-Haul with 20 seconds left on the clock. Just going to play it very patiently right now. 16 left, playing the retake for EG. Take the numbers advantage. Smoke the down. smoke and the plant comes down. Ten seconds left. Tough watch. B dog trying to keep every angle here. Will they? They're gonna separate? No, they're gonna stick together. I like this. They can go high, low. They can play off each other's shoulder. And the utility to come back in isn't actually much. That was Reform's flash here. Yeah. Good chance for LG to pick up their first round. It's actually a big one too because nobody shot it inside you and when it flashed it didn't actually come out with an audible so they think that U-Haul is cleared so they're looking back here towards the short A side and Tegas trying to fight back and it works out b rings up too though but there's still half the fuse coming in for the defenders as Bustio still comes out of it to get that frag they will convert another bonus round for EG in this series against LG yeah. the answer to just about everything is what you're chalking it up to here for EG. Like we said, that flash came out a little early. So they didn't use the flash, and that's a minute thing to say. But if you're adding things up, you know, LG was there. Boys, the clack comes in, ready for one more. No, trade it back. EG gets it again. And, you know, those rounds can go either way. But mm -hmm. they've been going EG's way, and EG has been able to get more than a handful of those. They've a lot of pistols, and now that's a bonus again, like you said. Focusing you want to play, back to LG, play. what can they do? They'll be faced with a trademark in Hookah, and they somewhat slow it down as they throw a Guiding Light into Showers right away. Already taken by EG, though. Same combination as well from EG, outside Showers, and that's why, we're, uh, that's why sorry, yeah. Dazzle was still standing there to break the eye, just so that they could keep the players from EG inside the A site while everybody else is working yeah. towards B here. So this is a nice little fake coming in for LG. We always know here that it takes a little bit for B-Dog to activate on his attacker side on Bind, and he's always been very good for the long side B takes, and that's a big flash there from Reform to get that information. Yeah, really nice tag. Not sure how many, but it sure is someone's close. Also has who can push up knowledge. Here come the trades. Back site. Looks like they want to scale it, and LG's going to force in. Reforms back through the smoke. Lucio's watching that hookah push. Here comes the nightfall for the defense side. 
works out with a Haunt to allow these assists to come out from EG. So we wanted to know that utility from Calm. I know, Doug, you're listening to this broadcast. I think Fade's pretty good. <laughs> Going in there. And it's LG was looking for everyone, too. The smoke's kind of closed off angles, and EG was able to hide in the show. Oh, look at this one here, Riv. Yeah. They, need to, they need to try to turn it around really quick. Uh, but this could be one that bites them in the ass if they're not able to convert off this timeout the next two rounds. Let's focus on it. Spike's going to get dropped. Default trademark spot again for LG. It hasn't really told us they want to push up or play anything too quickly or leave anything behind. And again, they'll be met right away with utility outside of B. And that was a trade that we see B-Dog trying to get with the operator. Will they stay for more? I like how it's a mirror match, too, on that long yeah. B side. <laughs> it is. It is. You're exactly Sky right. and Agents Chamber and fighting it out. Still keeping uh, still keeping Mata in that player trying to take control of Hookah. Well, you see the, the position, though, from LG. Everybody's playing oh very my. passively on spawn side on A, so it's an indication that potentially they want to look for this early pressure on B side before That's reacting that. once again. Because with this spike being down here, Riv, you know that they're going to they want to play this round very slowly. EG have rotated everyone here. Yep. LG's going to use the last minute to call an audible, possibly, and figure out what can happen. You see how much they want B-Dog to get a jump peak pick. At least get some more idea of who could be there as you get another guiding light coming out. I think what they're trying to do here for LG is to try to sell this fake and TP back so they could split back into the B site. It's working out for this rotate. Yeah, great movement by I LG so far them. to get this. Really nicely done to pull EG apart. How will the fight go, though? EG could figure out a lot if they take down the members in A fast. Oh, but b Dog wins that fight against Busio, and there is that teleportation. A big kill Jake that came up. in for LG. As we talked about it before, takes a bit for b Dog to step it up, but he fights it very well here on the attacker side of Long B. But there's a counter from the orbital strike on the defense, so Apoch drops the spike. There's only 12 seconds left on the round. b Dog and Dazzle have to hold it down. 10 seconds left. The plant's coming in, and John Jones pushing it side to side. Schultz Stopper onto the ground. It's a two versus one. Dazzle's at five HP Ooh. as they're moving in onto the defuse for EG. Dodge the pain shells, the swing out as Jogimo gets the kill, and EG another clean round as they get five to zero. The answer to everything, you fans, you have to be kidding me. LG picked apart EG for the entirety of that round down to the last 20 seconds. B Dog gets the opening frag, waiting so long, everything comes to fruition, <laughs> and then they get swarmed with utility from evil geniuses. Again, another round masterminded, and EG comes away with that round. Now we move on to the sixth one. LG's back on a low buy. Oh, man. And now they have Viper's Pit and Orbital Strike Elise on the attack. This half buy of it that they have, they want to try to go for another death ball here for LG. But man, it feels for me, Riv, that they're almost flattened after that round. Uh, they, oh, watching this come in, Vance, take it, Dazzle is going to be able to drop one, but how far can they get here? Yeah, only one player towards the elbow side, and that's reformed. Orbital Strike is coming down just to try to clear out space. Talking Mills on a big flank. He's going to run it up, but it's going to get hurt by B-Dog. B-Dog's actually not turning around into this because he's trying to play inside the smoke, and Joggy Mills gets the kill. The plan at least comes in for the attacker side, but we are closing the gap for Evil Geniuses on the retake. The three versus three make that oh now word. more players falling down. <laughs> Long range with Spectres. Good luck with this one for the last two players of LG. You got to count your lucky stars with the ADS of these weapons. And now we're sticking it here for Evil remaining. Geniuses. Joggy Mode just continues to farm it out from the last two rounds to get an ace into this one as EG will move into another one. They're just dancing around. Get that ult orb. And then get the defuse there to get one kill away from another showstopper in like three rounds. That's insane. Deja vu on that too. Jogamo just coming up with the last few frags. Again, like you said, making it look clean. Going to be easy when LG's firing at you with frozen peas from Hookah. So the round's going to go, go your way there. Jogamo just flying through. Like you said, almost would have been heard there by Bustio, yeah. but just so much commotion, the smoke, wisp everything and ace they're locked in the confidence is, <laughs> it must be absolutely through the roof here you're fighting against the aim right now and the confidence of evil geniuses we're back to guns let's see what eg has and they instantly take control of of the showers area so they yeah. want orbs they want to get themselves into a position where now seekers is ready exactly and answers still from long b eg's rinsing and repeating to figure out 
how this map is working for LG with Seeker or with Sky Utility. Yeah, and the Seekers could be huge because now you see this aggressive position from Apoth, and that Seeker will just give his position away where he can't mm -hmm. really run away on top of that, but LG decide just to hold that into the back pockets of Dazzle for a little bit longer. As they're rotating back towards the B side, but B Dog still gets an opener. What a nice shot there. Ready. Definitely what LG has needed. You can see EG's kind of reading the round with their guiding light towards B. They didn't see anything, and without their shower control this time, they've moved reformed over very early. So I've now it's the three stack for a day instead. And here are the Seekers we saw before, Vans. They're delayed a bit by the nade, but Jogmo still wants a peek. Still trying to shut him down as he can't here for EG. As another one swinging out from the top of the smoke. That doesn't standing. allow here EG Spike to hold their ground a. on the A site. Abusio left. left inside the B site to his own demise as we're playing the pulse plant now for, each, uh, for LG. So one of the rounds, LG slow moving in and they let B-Dog do the work. We talked about how bind works for LG. Get B-Dog an operator if things aren't going the way of the rest of the team and let those angles be broken by B-Dog. And honestly, it's, it's how you beat an aggressive team as well. If, if EG wants to play aggressive in you at all, is you op against them. So they're going to be swinging at all or trying to play angles on you. Op away. And LG gets the squeeze of that one there in round seven. We moved to round eight now. Let's see if they can keep this momentum up. And a big plus moving into this round here is that that previous round, they only had to use the Seekers. In this round now for Luminosity, they have a Viper's Pit and a Showstopper to work with as well. Make make that even B-Dog's ult. Yeah. This could be a real spicy round here. And honestly, this is the time you want for LG, for the fans to bring it back to the 6-6. The possibilities there. Smoke's coming out immediately as, as well. They just throw just about everything forward from the side of EG to make sure Shower's control is theirs again. This was much different last round, Ben. So. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I even think that Reformed actually threw a, uh, a flash through TP to combine all of that to try to get more of that Shower's <laughs> control if they could so that yeah. you can't really shoot that Haunt out uh, from LG's side. So I like these little, these little rather, setups from Evil Geniuses. It, it, it's everybody's in place for what they need to do and how they need to make the strap work. Bustio makes that one in Hookah work for EG, and now it's left up to Dazzle here to break the site with this last guiding light. Just talk about it. Just in the right place at the right time that allows Bustio to get that oh. first frag and showstopper out close range. Lands at the feet of Dazzle. That's a little nice combination from Trailblazer. Allow that Dog? kill to happen, and yeah, Jogs just continuing the farm. Spike it's just B. sprucing out frags after frags, and the EG are just taking full reign and full control into this map. Gosh. A 701. I haven't seen lots of 701s in, uh, in, in Stage 2, especially in our matches that we've casted in the past few weeks yeah. in Stage 2 here, Rib. EG's positioning on these retakes, the ability to get back, like you said, to take that shower control and know that nothing else was going to be coming through. That means they rotate to B and were there for every trade necessary. As soon as you saw LG get a kill, EG was getting a kill. You know, somebody dies, Bustio pops out of elbow and grabs one. EG is so much a step ahead throughout this entire play, game. Let's play. That's why we're getting this result. Still a little bit of control over shower, but it changes, right? They don't prioritize a smoke, flashes, to everything. Just the prowler that time. You can do moving up. It, the knife out for Moose. He goes down to Jog Vance. Did not expect that. And Jogimo seems to have been taking that spot very often towards the A side. So a miscalculation and a misstep from LG into that round. Losing one early into here. And with the smokes coming down, that's going to slow down the default and the lurks coming up from LG. It seems like these rounds as well are almost rounds where they want to feel it out how to play it. The spike was dropped. So to have Moose going that far forward without showers... It, LG is trying to really mix things up and catch EG off guard. But it's EG is kind of sitting back and receiving all of this without really being thrown off of their game. Rotating correctly. Again, using that util to get their trademarks towards long. And Here. this is the duelist to get into the site, right? Mata has Showstopper. They just saw that Boomba, and they're going to pressure it. Oh, Bustio goes down, though. Lisa Seekers are coming out for more information on the defender side here of EG. Showstopper on the attacker side, though, for Mata to just keep 
EG from pushing through their own smoke off the Seeker. So this is good. Oh my god, is that going to land? That would have been sick. <laughs> that was so close. Oh my word. That was awesome. Gotta love the plays coming in here. It doesn't look like they'll try just yet. Waiting patiently, Van, but they will get into the site. The dog's gonna look to stop it. It's always so good for those. But at least we're fighting back on the other end. Off on a two versus one. And it's gonna be two separated battles, leaving Dazzle on his own. Five bullets left in the clip here of this Vandal. And this is good for Dazzle, because that allows now the guy to light yep. to come out too. As that clock's ticking down, waiting for that flash to get baited out. Oh, Kong gets hit by it. This is looking really good here for Dazzle to save the round. Gonna happen. Got them all confuddled. A great round from Dazzle there. And LG get a much needed round and start to bite back a little bit quicker than they were able to on Icebox. Not really worried about showers that time. They still got themselves a little uh, mixed up on their way back and forth between sites. But it seemed like everybody was way more behind each other on their way into B getting those trades that EG has been finding 90% of the time. It's coming down to trades in the site. It's not like they're losing very many people before the strategy or after in the post plant. It's during that site take that the LG is really losing their members. So EG doing a good job at waiting and just kind of setting traps here to stop LG, which they've been able to change these last few rounds. Let's see if LG can get a third one here. Still stays into the same at least control of sands and showers. Less pressure onto the long B side. And LG are just trying to figure out if EG could actually press forward a little bit more, and indeed they are. Off the prowler, moving up. Oh, oh they, yep, yeah, they saw him. <laughs> just the edge of the suit. Now in a very big pickle. Oh, that, that stings, bittersweet. I don't even know if that's any sweet. Listel ends that shot somehow. And that forces now the Viper remaining. Moose on his own, just on the right side of the slow field. And you know Boost 2 is going to call in the rest of the cavalry. All right, Moose. Off to the headhunters now for Boost Deal. The wall bank, snake butt on the ground, and even a no scope. They're just oozing in confidence right now for EG here, Riv. Yeah, that push, as well as to correct the situation once you were found out, like, these guys are vibing. He knew exactly what was going to happen and then continues to play the push when you can't be doing that when, when a chamber has their ultimate out. That's, that's what they want. That's what a chamber lives for. Please keep swinging out. <laughs> uh, yeah, another round for EG, and they made, EG made that one happen, right? They got the orb, orbital strike out in the middle of the map. They then continue to take down LG, and LG is going to be forced to the frenzy rush towards the short A. Prowler hits B Duck, forces him back, so that's even less support from Shower side. So it's going to be very tough for these three players on short A to gain that map control. And there you go, trying to run through their own smoke, their opponent's smoke, and they're just being met by just barrels between the eyes. Close range execution. Now B Dog's on his own. Very friendly frenzy round. A lot of, a lot of up close and personal handshakes there in the smoke. Uh, you see where LG's at though. Uh, where to grab a round? Where to grab some money? How to, how to maybe pinch something new out of the strategies they've been running? And EG's just not having it on that one. Let's see how they set up this last round. Guns there for LG as they're off the frenzy round onto the buy. Spike will be in the hands now of Dazzle to start this one off. Watch Reformed as his util comes out. And that chamber trap has been moved to shower, so we'll see what the focus of LG is. I mean, they have Joggy Mode playing towards the long B side, so it's a showstopper flash. Long range here down towards long B, and B-Dog eats it right in the mouth. And Joggy Mode's trying to fall back, get into regrowth at the same time, and they make it out on Scave. What a play here for EG. Alt Orb as well. That was the maybe Nightfall. They also have Orbital Strike. I mean, LG has their work cut out for him this round. Viper's Pit is there if they can get to the site along with Seekers to break Watching up smoke. what might be in front of them. It looks like that may be it. Hey, Trailblazers hey. pass in the night there, seeing each other just for a moment. So they know what the intentions of the initiator spot might be for, for LG here. That's Even big news for EG. Exactly, and as you mentioned it, as they still have the orbital strike for Apoth, 
They could just play utility and get information right now yeah. for EG, and they're okay with LG running the clock down with last-minute hits because we know what happened last time they had the orbital strike. I've got your trail. <laughs> Scary things happen. No Seems way. to just cause chaos in the game. Again, just passed out, delaying. Stopping the map, spreading a little thinner as now it's gonna be the jump out of Hookah by LG. Reform waiting for a moment. The flash can peek out. There it is off a of nightfall. A headshot on Tamada. The Viper's pit is out, but it's the spike down out in the open. There's only Tig on his own as Moose dies. Tig has to come up huge. Barrel of the gun sticking out. Reform gets that kill in Riv. EG is just looking too good to run away with this series. Switching sides. With that, let's take a break and see if EG could just close it in. Because again, it's one of those moments where I just don't want the action to end. So let's take it. Welcome back here to the VCT Stage 2 group stage between EG and LG. Going into this second map, Riv, I think we know why EG decide to let Vine into the map vetoes. Oh my gosh. It the strategy that EG have come oh, with no, on defensive point. side here, now on attack, it literally shut down LG using this, the sky utility across the map, mostly from B, to continuously figure out if anybody was close, what their reaction times needed to be. It just seemed like EG was a step ahead with everything, and here, not stopping that pace. They're trying to run it through, and Bustio already has a bit of a flank. But this wall coming down, the trail laser to spot one. Here's that flank on the other end. We're pinching in onto LG inside showers, and they're now greeted by Reformed wow. as he drops two, and that opens up the A site. <laughs> the rotation already comes in from LG, though, as three players are now moving up towards heaven side. This is still doable. Why? Because they have frenzies for Dazzle and for Tig. Fighting into U-Haul, this could melt down calm right here. Great point. They get that close, and it could really work. There's one of them, Vansilly. Just running that clock down. On is about to come online, and almost the save there from the Apoth to actually take down Tig. And that's the second Frenzy down as Dazzle falls from the hands of Calm. Here comes the Headhunter, but it is stopped again by Calm. Four pistol rounds, Vans. Insane. Absolutely incredible from Evil Genius is not giving up basically at any point of this series so far and able to bring this one possibly in to a 13-2. It's the buy from LG. It almost has to be. We're going to see them push forward. For You see teams, Vans, talk about, oh, we have strategies that will run, but it, it usually it's almost too much to go after one team and figure out how to really break them down. Yeah. It looks like EG had some time to make sure they knew how to break down Luminosity. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I saw trying to see if... B Dog's playing inside the corner of the teleporter side along B, so that guy didn't like coming out here from Reformed didn't spot anybody yet. But with that smoke, you're now going to keep EG guessing on their attack as they're inching here towards this B side riff. That push gives LG all the knowledge they need to keep their members in place. They're just making sure no stragglers can get around. You see Cave for Moose, and the strat is coming in now for EG. They push into Octagon, and that's going to be a firefight. Still have B-Dog in the back there, forced. Actually, he can't TP. He actually was, uh, there was a haunt coming down there and he was actually even spotted. And that just allows EG to overpower that B site. Even the last player now spotted. Yeah. Picking up a Spectre is Moose. <laughs> it's oh. just gonna be the running and gunning and Apop is gonna be the <laughs> one that mops it up. And EG are at map point and series point with a convincing 12 to two lead. And on the undefeated LG. Too. You know, yeah. we if EG's changes have not seemed to slow them down. The changes are to actually build the team up, right? Uh, and that's exactly what has happened. They seem to just absolutely be vibing these past few weeks, getting the wins to come in. They have been strong wins, and you're seeing growth to them, right? It's not like, oh, yeah. you know, they got a win. It seems like that team's coming together. It's like, wait, they're turning into a powerhouse team here with the way they're winning these games right now, topping the top team in their group. We'll yeah. See if they can keep it up for one more, Vans. They're putting the pressure on. A strong win from strong wins here as the sails are behind for the attacker side of LG. Just smooth sailing across this series so far. And a trailblazer coming out on the attacker side to spot Dazzle will fall back in. EG once again are looking to press forward towards this B side. And they found exactly where B-Dog is. They continue to give him hell with Calm in mid as the rest of the team works off that ball, right? They're over towards B like you called. 
They won't have hookah cover just yet. This is going to be comms work to do. Oh, how much can he put onto this hookah? Oh, come. there's one. At least he's low on HP, but at least a little bit of map control taken back from LG, but they lose a player in the process. A regrowth yep. coming out of his coffee, also pulling back with his teammates. And the satchel charges from Jogging are looking better and better from week to week on this race. A battle inside Hookah as Mahara is just battling for his life, has support from Take Two, but the spike is still planted here for EG. Apoth making it closer and closer for EG to move up to two to one in their groups. Even on top of that, forces out the orbital strike. EG seals the deal with a 13 to two victory into this second map to end the series two to zero, Riv. What a statement series from Evil Geniuses. Again, 